guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here then hello I had a few people message me asking if I could video on how I've done my hair for my last video so I thought I would do that for you today so yeah so just the first thing that I've done is I have washed my hair um, and I've used the Argan Oil of Morocco. I use that brand um, just because it's sulfate free for my extensions. So I've used that shampoo and then from the same brand I just put on a hair mask. It's the Damage Remedy Coconut Miracle Oil Hair Mask. So it's that one. The lighting I feel might be an absolute pain in this video because oh, I've put my ring light on but it's light outside. But I just didn't want the lighting to change. I feel it might. Mm, mm, mm. Oh well. So my extensions are fitted by Jill. Um, so she's Jilly's hair salon and bonds with Jill. She's so so good. I love Jill. She's amazing. And I've only actually got six day bonds in. It's so manageable. So I only have six day bonds from her. I'm pretty sure they're Remy Cachet. I think. I think they're Remy Cachet. And I love them. So yeah. Thanks Jill. So I'll just show you how I can wear. So just for brushing for my extensions, I like to use um, a tango teaser or a wet brush. I think my brother's actually snicked my wet brush. Just the bristles on them are dead soft and they're easy just to kind of brush through your hair. So the curler that I use to curl my hair, um, I do have two, but the one that I used to curl my hair in the last video was my Molly May Curl Kit. So that is this one. I would show you the box and maybe hold, try hold it, but it's actually on. Um, so I might burn myself. So I'll just show you how I use that to curl my hair. I just kind of like to separate my hair. So this is kind of away <laughs> when I do that, that side. Um, so I just kind of use a wee clip to do that. I'm kind of, I'm trying to like watch myself in the mirror and you guys at the same time. I always start from the back, I don't know why, loads of people think I'm quite weird for doing that but um, I like to start from the back just so it's like when it's done it's out of the way. So I don't really know either like how big a section I take. I was gonna pin, normally I pin it but I've actually been enjoying just be doing thinner sections. Um, I just feel like it's got quite a nice wavy soft look to it so I'm gonna do that today and then I just hold it for like 10 seconds I think I mean I don't know like I kind of just guess it when it gets too hot on my hand I feel like I'm too busy like watching there and then once I feel the curl is done I just drop it into my hand and I like catch it and I just hold it for a wee minute and then I let it go so it's just like that I'm gonna take another part I feel like I should have done like a Q and A or something, but I just done a Q and A. So, I mean, I don't think you guys care that much about what I'm doing. What I think. <laughs> so I'll just make this snappy. So I'm just curling, and I'm I try and use um like the full length of the barrel. Like it's extra long, which is actually why I like it because I feel it just instead of like normally like your curls can just kind of go straight at the ends whereas this actually lets you like get a full curl out of your hair which I really like but yeah I'm actually really liking this curler just now at first I was a bit like mm, was it worth it but I actually really am I'm liking it I feel like people are gonna judge how I do this because I used to like separate my hair like and do it in like probably like four stages or like do like bottom then top but I just don't do that anymore I'm just like I kind of just like to get it all the same I don't know what I'm trying to say like actually I'm not a hair techy talky person if you know what I mean then just catch that and then let it drop <laughs> I used to never, oh cute, I used to never do my hair like middle part and I just feel like my face doesn't suit it but um, recently I've been venturing out and using a middle parting a little bit more and I think I'm slightly getting used to it. Okay it's so much easier actually looking at my phone to do this 
I'm so blind though, so it's actually so far away, like mirror or phone. It's just, um, it's not great. I really need to get contacts. Oh, don't do that, kids. I'm distracted. Maybe it's good I didn't do a Q&A because I would just burn myself the full time because I'm talking. I normally am chatty and like I can find anything to talk about. Like I could talk to a brick wall but I feel like I'm trying to concentrate so much and I'm like concentrating on that and that and this and not burning myself. I feel like I've just got thinner and thinner with this because I'm talking I'm like Okay, so this side I actually find easier to do than this side, so I think this is going to be quite funny to film. Here we go. So yeah, this is just um, the, um, the curls before I brush them out. I do like to have it a bit thinner, like they're all different sizes, but I do like to have it thinner when it's like coming towards my face. And as well, I forgot to say, I always curl away from my face, so I feel if you curl in the way it's not as flattering, so I always like to curl away, like, um, yeah. Um, so yeah, I might actually just speed through this side so that it's done quicker and you can just see the final look because you probably won't care about me sitting, talking away to myself, um, so yeah. <laughs> this you can actually tell the difference already without me brushing it and um, it's just kind of dropped a wee bit so um, I'm just gonna take my tangle teaser and brush it out you can see it's just a lot softer So I mean you can like curl your hair and like leave it um, in the curls if you want but I just really like to brush them out um, so it's really soft and it, it's not really like tight. So this is just the finished look after brushing the curls out. Finish it off with some hairspray but I don't actually have any. You can leave them, like you don't need to brush them if you want, you can just kind of let them fall um, but I just like it to be a little softer so if you do like a tighter curl then you can obviously just leave it but this is just what I prefer to do. If I'm going out I do tend to like pin them just so they last a little bit longer. Beauty Works um, that do the Molly May Curl Kit. Um, I'm pretty sure they actually have a discount on just now for like twenty percent off. Um, I could be wrong, but I think they do for Easter, so I would definitely check it out. I also would one hundred percent recommend if you want to get extensions, then go to Jill. She's so so good, and she'll give you a good like consultation um, and actually tell you like. Her recommendation she wouldn't give you too much if she think that you need too much and um, so as I said I've only got 60 bonds in which I can't really believe because I did used to have so many and um, whenever I've had extensions before and I just don't feel like I need it and um, so yeah I would definitely recommend going to her she is fab but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a wee thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll speak to you soon bye so we Blah. Why can't I speak? Blah.